Hello there, YouTubers and weavers, and this time also software people, because we're going to be talking both weaving and new programs. Right now, you're seeing me kind of over there or over there, one of those places on the screen. But if you look right here, I've got a new icon on my desktop of my computer, and it's for a program called Tempo Weave. So I'm going to double click that and it should start up. There we go. So this is a new weaving design program that has been under development for, I don't know, over a year at least. And hopefully will be on the market early in 2021 and will be available for you or me, certainly for me to purchase. Um, but what I want to do is just show you a few of the features that I've found in it. I've been working with this, playing with this, testing this on and off for a couple of months now. And I uh, was part of the, I am part of the beta test program. So that's where software, a programmer writes it, but they ask someone else to test it. And if we find a, a problem with something, we report it back to the programmer and discuss it and they fix it if, if it's fixable. And so far it has been. I've found a couple of bugs in here. I have reported them to the developer and they've been fixed. So that's a good thing to know. He's very responsive to this. So let's take a look at this. Right now, you can kind of see where my cursor is moving along. There's nothing designed in here in this tempo weave program. But let's say I want to do a straight twill uh, program. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go into the project for this. And I'm going to, to the screen called Project Information. And I'm going to change the number of shafts from 8 down to 4, because that's all we need for straight twill. And I'm going to change the number of treadles down to 4. And I'm going to save that. Back into project one more time. We're going to do planning. We're going to change our ends per inch and our picks per inch from 12 to 20. Save that. And let's take a look at one or two other things. So far, I haven't chosen any heddles on the four shafts. And the color is just black at the top and white. So black warp white weft. That's all good right now. Okay, so let's take a look at selecting how we're going to draw some warp in there. First, right here I'm pointing at the straight draw tool. So I've chosen straight draw and I'm simply going to go in here and I'm going to go 20 wide and up there. I didn't go quite far enough. There we are. So I've got one, two, three, four, five sets of four. On, and that's 20 um, warp threads. And now we're going to go into what's called their design tool. And we're going to work with the tie up. So I'm going to put in the tie-up for shaft number one. There it is, right there, shaft number one. But I'm not going to bother filling in shafts two, which should have a tie-up of two, three, or shaft, four, shaft three, which be, should be three, four, or shaft four, which should be one, four. I'm going to come over in design to this area here, I'm working with tie up and you can see it's got this little step one. Well, when we are doing a twill, we're stepping by one. So we go one, two, then two, three, then three, four, then one, four. And we do that with the tie up being diagonal. So I'm going to click on this diagonal button 
But when I click on that, I want you to watch over here what happens to the tie-up as I click right now. Did you see that? It filled in for me automatically the rest of the tie-up for a straight twill. That's a slick feature. I like that. Can't tell you how many times I've screwed up where I, when I have to click all these myself, where I've screwed that up. Okay, so now let's take a look at putting in the weft or the treadling. Let's do that the easy way. We'll go to Tools, and since I want straight twill, I want effectively the treadling to be a repeat of the warp tie-up. So I can choose this to tool called Tromp as Writ, and it will take this from the warp and put it down here in the weft. Let's do that when I I keep moving it. Tromp as Writ. It didn't do it. It brought up a box asking me a question. Do I want to copy just the structure here? only the color or structure and color. I only want to copy the structure. I don't want to copy the black from the warp to the weft. So we'll copy the black, structure only, click yes, filled it in. Another slick tool. Okay, so now we've got that, but black and white's kind of boring. Let's change some colors. Why don't we leave the first four threads of warp black, but change the next four to yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go up there. Did you see over here on the far right side, I've got a palette of all the colors I can work with. Black is my original warp. I've now added yellow to my warp. Let's add another color. How about spring green? We'll do four more threads of that. Spring green. Um, let's try sky blue or aqua next. One, two, three, four. And finally, let's try something nice and bright fuchsia for the last set of four. That's fine, but the weft looks kind of eh, boring. So why don't we put red? We'll brighten this up really slickly and make it red. You can see how easy that went. That's slick I don't want to weave something that's only one inch. Maybe I want to weave 20, something wider than that. So why don't we go into um, the design tool again. And this time we'll work with the warp. And I'm going to choose the repeat. Brings up another little, moved everything over to the side from here this way. But it brings up this. We can do weft repeat, warp repeat, or what they call quick repeat. In this case, I want to do a quick repeat of our entire warp, all 20 threads, which is one inch wide. And let's say I want to make that, how many times do I want to repeat that inch? Let's just say I want to repeat it five inch, five times which should give us a total, I think, of six inches wide. So we'll go for five. One, two, three, four, five. I probably could have just typed that in. And now I'm going to click Apply and watch this. It goes all the way across. I need to shrink it down a little bit so I can see everything. But there you go, you've got that. Again, slick. It repeated the colors. It repeated the the um, the warp tie-up. Now let's say I want to go wind my warp. I suppose I could remember this, but 
it's going to be hard to. I sometimes forget the sequence of where I want colors as I'm winding my work. So I'm going to go back to, I think it's project that I want. Yes, and I'm going to choose this thing called a warp winding plan. And it's going to prepare me a printout of the colors that are going to go into my warp. Watch this. When I click, and here is something that could now be printed. It shows me that I'm going to start with four threads of black, then four yellow, then four green spring, four aqua, and four fuchsia, then four black. And it gives me both the number of threads I'm going to work with on the warping board and my cumulative total out to 120 threads. This is slick. It's something I've had in when I've been using Fiberworks and I do something like this, I end up building a separate spreadsheet outside of Fiberworks using Excel or something like that to build a spreadsheet to, to give me this information. Look at this. It's got the color names, the color, the printed colors, the number of threads, the cumulative threads. Fantastic feature. So one of the reasons I like this program, even though it's not yet available for sale. Anyways, I wanted to show this to you. I'm still learning the program. I will admit fully that there is an awful lot in here and that it, it does take a learning curve. Well, all of weaving takes most of us some kind of a learning curve. So having software that is this powerful is also going to take a bit of a learning curve. But my initial gut feeling for this is it's going to be well worth the time spent to learn how to use this. It looks to me like a very good program. So I'm using it in beta. It does still have one or two bugs in it. Um, but the developer is working on getting them fixed. And I have confidence he will. So again, I don't know exactly when this will be available, hopefully sometime early in 2021. I have no idea what the price will be on this yet. Um, who knows? Will it be a dollar? No, it won't be that cheap. Will it be $50 or $100 for the software? I don't know. It might be that. It might be more. It might be less. I just don't know. But I believe it'll be worth whatever you spend on it, whatever I'm going to spend on it, because I will buy this software. So I wanted you to know that I've been doing this, and I'm very intrigued. You know, I'm a retired computer programmer myself. The guy who did this put an awful lot of work into it, and I think it's a good program and I wanted you to know about it. So I will probably do some more demos on this over the next couple of months, but this is uh, my first attempt to show you this program. So thanks for watching my video this time. No hands-on weaving. I'm still working on those prayer shawls that I showed you a week ago. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.